Voices, a short, real-life documentary featuring young people from the boroughs of Tower Hamlets, Newham and Wolven Forest. Three disadvantaged communities with some of the highest knife crime rates in East London. Sometimes we assume we know what young people are going through. We assume we know what they want and need in order to grow, develop and achieve. Elba bridges the gap between the corporate world and local communities. And with the launch of Voices, you will hear directly from the young people as they speak their truth, share experiences, opinions and ideas on how they can be supported in their journeys to success. My name is Fisha. I live in Newham in East London. My name is Ismail. I'm 17, East London, Stepney. I'm Sam, 18, and I'm from Limehouse. My name is Treyas. I'm 17, from Newham. My name is Adam, and I'm 19, I'm from Wolfram Store, East London. These parts of the area are really multicultural. Obviously, there's still crime, there's a lot of job opportunities. Challenges in my community, I said just getting the young people to stay focused, really. If like a group of people my age went to the park, there's not much to do unless they play on the climbing field and like people my age don't really own climbing fields, so they just end up chilling. That's the thing with the younger generation, that they don't get as many opportunities as they should do. The more experience, the more they would like to get in stuff. So like now it matters more about job experience, but that job experience is not given to them, so how are they meant to do it? You get me? There's no actual sort of local incentive. There's no place where I can go and see, look, here's a tradesman from Wolfram store. Here's his story. How can I be like him? There's no place for that. And they should already know people and then not everyone's that lucky, isn't it? Work experiences, I would say, is an opportunity, a very big opportunity that I feel like every young person needs. So I feel like that would be good in the hands-on field as it's a lot of money. Let's say, for example, like electrician, gas engineering, mechanics and that, like hands-on job. It's good piece. And like you, you don't really need like just his history. Something where you can bring the kid to see what it's like in this type of job maybe, you know, go everywhere, see what they want to do, different type of opportunities. What is out there other than just the place that they live in? Because when you just live in the place that you live in, you're not going to see much. You're just going to see what's going on around. They should be taken onto a course or something. Kids need to be taken there a younger age. To show the kids that, look, there is other stuff to do. There needs to be more display of, like, a more varied show of careers, a more engagement from people in those careers with the young people, to show them, look, you can do this, maybe you've got a hidden talent in this. It will help to have, like, people, people like you, mentors, have a conversation, talk about mental health. The young people push it onto themselves that mental health is weird. Like, go into safeguarding and talk about your problems, that's not normalised. Mm. And I, I'm not sure what everyone needs to do to make that normalised. If I was given some money to spend in my community, I'd definitely use it in investing in some sort of mentorship scheme between local businesses and young people, like fostering a relationship, working relationship, but also rewarding the businesses. Like, they're not just getting nothing out of it. They're getting a financial incentive, but the kids are getting taught life skills, basically. Skills that are invaluable. If there was enough money, I'd just like build places, more parks with things to do for people of all ages, get more jobs that are easy to get into. If I had 20 grand, I would invest it in, I would say like organisations to work on young people, if that makes sense. So like youth clubs specifically, I feel like they don't get enough money as they should as well. But I'd say like I open a, a business where you can hire everyone in the end. You should be doing what you love to do, what makes you happy, rather than the money. I feel like it's more about what you like to do than the money. I would definitely say Elba does stick to the core values of bridging the corporate world to the local community. By our, my worker, Chantel, she's put me in contact with an electrician who's now helping me narrow down what career path should I take, whether I should go for an apprenticeship, whether I'd be more suited. He's helping me work it out. And I obviously wouldn't have this link. There are a variety of ways you can contribute to supporting young people. Your contribution can make a real difference. Connect with Elba. We can facilitate your involvement in giving back to the communities we work to support.